Hello everyone, welcome to Top Trading Edge. Today I'm gonna make a real quick video for uh, somebody wanting to take a look at it, the uh, DRN company and they have the earning tomorrow. So I try to see what the chart look like. Somebody is also requesting on our group uh, right here. He said that earning tomorrow. So I don't have much time making. So I'm gonna just real, real quick go through uh, what exactly yeah, you know, chat looking like real quick few seconds video, right? Because uh, YouTube gonna take a long time. So if you take a look at the, the stock is grinding from here pre-pandemic from here, which was 160 dollars, grinding all the way to four hundred dollars. So it's a quite a bit, uh, quite a bit run up. So if you look at pre-pandemic price to current price is almost. Stock is up hundred and. 25 was 123%, okay. So let's cancel these. Now, what do I see of the earning? Now, as you can see, this is the resistance. This is the support. Every time you try to, uh, this is the support. This is the, what I call entry zone. Whenever market uh, test here, this area, you try to exit. I always believe in that way. But the reason behind it, these are resistance. Resistance has to cross, then, let the candle close and then it becomes support and then i would enter so normally market maker and all the traders they always look all the resistance and they cautiously get out of it so you don't want to be in a i understand that there's a deer could be a good company is going to be a benefit out of it many things would be a good side of it but whenever i see resistance i have seen in my life nine out of ten man resistance i i like to prefer exit and then I wouldn't mind paying five dollar more, four hundred and five dollar, and then I would enter. So this is the area where right now I see, and it's a good sign. It's crossed hundred day moving average is crossing over two hundred day moving average, so that is also another good bullish sign. But again, like I said, you know, earning is tomorrow. Time will tell, and based on the uh, the numbers, what I see right now here, it's looking strong because um, look at the growth. The growth used to be like they used to make their re revenue was ten billion dollar. Then la last quarter was they missed a little bit, but it's a 10 10.20, 10.27, 10.40. So that's the number they're getting. But look at the EPS. They estimated it was four dollar fifty six. They are achieving five four five fifty three over here. Same thing. They estimated three eighty seven. They achieved four twelve. So the revenue is not go growing, but 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 the guidance was low, so they achieved that. But now look at that number, eight billion dollar. They are trying to, so that is two billion dollar less. So they might, their estimated value um, amount is lower, which is eight billion. So it's good. So if they they might achieve this time, and look at the EPS is way low, half the size of previously four. So that would be a good number. They might achieve this number, and based on the earning. If the earning comes out good, then stock probably break the resistance. But again, these are all guess for me because when we go the number, we I just need to analyze by what I see right now here. So and market condition is not good because market is you know all over market conditions are dropping. So if market maker decides if some single mistakes, then stock can tank and it, it can test the support. So you know I would never recommend testing uh, earning because even though earning goes good. It might stock might can jump ten ten dollar. I wouldn't mind losing ten dollar, but I would not like down like just what happened with Facebook and all many many stock. Why? Because this stock ran up from here. Remember pre pandemic, so one single mistake can ruin the whole this process. So I would uh, right now I would just exit at this point, even though all everything looks good. You know, if you look at the uh, yeah, I mean I'll I'll show you one more thing. I would give eight out of ten on this one because there. Are, their market cap is 100 billion, 120 billion, and their forward P ratio, I like it. Look at that, 17. So this is very, very fair value of the company if you look at it in the market. But what one thing I like about this company, I their outstanding shares are only 300 million, so which is fair, fair. But their their cash cash in hand is 7 billion. So look at how big company it is. They only have 7 billion cash, but they have a huge debt. I did not like that, man. Look at that debt. It's almost like a... Oh, whew, almost I would say five times more, oh, seven times more. So that's that's too much for $50 billion debt. So they'll be paying a lot of interest in future. So in future, you have to keep in mind, 
they'll be paying a lot of debt and the interest rate goes up. Analysts also see, oh, wow, look at the debt. If they have to pay a lot of interest because if interest rate goes up, they have to pay more interest on it. So got to be watchful here. This is alarming. It's, it's not like a seven to 10, you know, seven billion to seven billion here. He's of huge. So have a huge loan going on. So this is the only area where I, I minus two points because otherwise I would give at least nine points, but I did not like this. That's why a little scary. And like I said, now market condition is changing. And this this much profit from here to here, 125%, I would, whatever the price would be, I would like to exit here and then let the stock fly if it is good earning because earning might bid here. But also remember there is the, the thing what I told you, that the, the debt is, is killing. So you never know when somebody sees something and then, you know, market maker take on many things right now they're taking on on many stocks. So you don't want to be one of them. Other, um, other than that, so it's an eight out of 10, I would give this. Now you is your, everybody's call, how you educate yourself out of this chart. And, you know, this is not a financial advice, please. Just remember, this is no financial advice. You um, take your own for, edu this is just a regular uh, video just for real quick to understand. All right, thank you very much. Bye.